Okay, cool. So for this first problem, basically we need to simulate this process where um, every iteration, every cell in the grid checks its eight neighbors. The way I do the eight neighbors is by this um, these two arrays that tell us the amount to add to R or C. Uh, we check the number of occupied seats around each seat. Uh, make sure we don't uh, and we make sure we don't exceed the bounds of the grid with this function. And the rules are just if it's an empty seat and there are no occupied seats neighboring it, it becomes an occupied seat. Otherwise, if it's an occupied seat and there are at least four occupied neighbors, it becomes an empty seat. Thing. And we're just keeping this until everything stabilizes, so that's why we have this change variable. And finally, we just count the number of occupied at the end. Uh, part two is a little harder, where instead of just counting the eight neighbors, we count the closest we can see in all eight directions. So the way we do that is we just add another loop on top where the neighbor or neighbor C keep pushing in the their direction until they hit something. Either they go out of the grid or they hit something that's not just a, an empty space. And then we count on back to that. Uh, and then also we have to change this 4 into 5, but otherwise everything is pretty much the same. So that's it. Uh, let me know if you found this interesting. I might keep uh, making more of these videos. Uh, but yeah, that's all for now. See you guys next time.